I'm Tom from Do It Yourself Home Automation, and this is a look at my Dyson V7 Trigger cordless vacuum cleaner. Um, so I showed in the initial look at this. This is a Dyson vacuum cleaner. Um, Dysons are usually super expensive. Um, the newest model of this type uh, runs for about $600. But the Dyson V7 Trigger um, is a somewhat older model, um, but still you can buy it new on Amazon and it's only about $200. It still works great. I've heard really good things about it from people who use it. And again, you know, you're getting the Rolls Royce of vacuum cleaners, as it were, for only about $200, about a third of the price of what this would be new. Um, so I'm gonna take a look at how this works. Um, and I started to use it and I found it's really great as a vacuum. Um, so again, it's a cordless handheld vacuum cleaner. Um, it has a pretty powerful lithium ion battery, which is probably one of the core innovations on this because um, with the sort of dust busters of the old days, it was a NICAD battery. It would take six hours to charge. You had to fully charge it before you could use it. And it just didn't have the power to actually have a strong motor and strong suction in there. So if you remember dust busters from the 80s, this is not, uh, not that kind of vacuum cleaner. Um, so pretty powerful battery. Um, then it also has a pretty powerful digital motor, they call it. I don't know what it means that it's digital exactly, but apparently spins it up to 100,000 RPMs and creates some kind of crazy uh, vortex, uh, you know, little tornado things, according to the advertisements, and these little tubes in here. Again, not sure exactly how that works, but there's a filter um, and then the canister for dust here. And, um, you know, one nice thing that I found with this digital motor uh, is that it's pretty quiet. It doesn't, you know, kind of, you know, to wear earplugs or something when you're using this. Um, and, uh, you know, it does have pretty strong suction. And Dyson's whole claim is that it doesn't lose suction as you're using it, which I found is actually pretty much true so far. Um, the vacuum comes with three different attachments by default. This is the carpet cleaning attachment I've got on here. And the suction's actually strong enough to spin this brush and kind of uh, pull dust out of a carpet when you're using it. But it also has a um, kind of stairway brush um, and also a long tube for cleaning in crevices and surfaces like in your car. Um, and I love to use it for cleaning out a car seat. If you get crumbs and, kind of, and things in there, it's uh, got little crevices. Anyone who has a kid knows uh, it's hard to get those out. I find this is great for going out to the car and easily cleaning out that car seat. Um, another thing that I like about it is that it has a really easy system for dumping the dust that you do pull out. Um, and I'm gonna show that after I vacuum something. But basically you just lift up on this little trash handle over the trash can, the bottom pops out and everything in there falls out. Um, you know, some other things to note, I've still got the original uh, tape on here because this is brand new. Comes without a full charge. Uh, you have to charge it up and it takes about three and a half hours to charge. And you just plug the uh, charger into the back here. Um, so pretty easy, not too long to get it up and running. Um, and another thing I like, it has this max suction and high suction switch. Um, so when it's on high suction, it's just your normal setting. Uh, of course, they're gonna say that, you know, you never have low suction with this, so it's uh, high setting by default. And then you can go to max suction by pushing the switch forward um, and that upgrades the power in some way. I'm not sure if it's increasing the voltage to the motor or moving it to some other kind of faster setting. But in any event, uh, this draws the battery down much more quickly. So you're only supposed to do it for a couple minutes at a time. But if you really need to, um, you know, do some kind of crazy vacuuming, then max suction is the way to go. Um, and, uh, you know, the ergonomics of this, I think, are one of its strongest points. Um, the way that it's weighted, the motor sort of over your hand. Um, and this is this sort of crazy design. So when you're using it, you've got a trigger and it kind of feels like you're a, a dust busting superhero from some Xbox game or something like that with this sort of as an extension of your arm. Um, and you operate it, there's not an on and off switch, it's just a trigger, which again makes it feel very uh, kind of weapony. Um, so you push that trigger, uh, the little blue light comes on and it's uh, starting to pull uh, you know, air through and uh, you can see this actually spins the brushes for this attachment. Uh, the final thing I'd say, it does have a filter on the top here. It's washable, so you're supposed to once a month run that underwater and then let it dry before you use it again. Um, so let's see how this actually functions. I'm gonna go ahead and use it on my carpet down here. Um, So, you know, this pretty easy operation. 
Um, there's not much on the carpet at the moment, but you know the point here is it's supposed to have such strong suction that it's able to pull uh, you know, extra dirt out of something even after you vacuum with a normal vacuum cleaner. So let me go through, I'm gonna to continue to do this for a minute and then we'll see what the results are. Okay, so I just vacuumed for maybe about 45 seconds and you can see even from a carpet that's pretty clean to begin with, you're getting some stuff in the bottom here. And one of the most satisfying, there's something sort of viscerally satisfying about this, um, as you're using the vacuum cleaner, the vortexes or whatever they advertise creates this sort of spinning dust effect in here. Um, and you know, again, it makes you feel like you're accomplishing something because you can physically see the dust that you're pulling out of your carpet or your car seat or whatever you're, uh, you're using. Kind of gross, but also, um, again, you know, it sort of makes you feel like you're accomplishing something. Probably an innovation that Dyson created of, you know, instead of hiding your everything away in a, a gross bag inside the vacuum, they realized people like to see and feel like they're actually doing something, so they created this see-through uh, container on here, and I think a lot of people have since copied them on that. But, um, you know, again, there's something weirdly nice about, uh, about seeing that and seeing the immediate feedback um, from what you're doing. And uh, you can swap out the end pieces just by pressing this button and clicking another one in. Um, and then I'll show when you're done vacuuming. Um, emptying this is super easy. Okay, so I'm done and uh, I need to hold the camera. So I'm just gonna sort of balance this weirdly on my trash can here. And then we just pull up on the little uh, garbage lever here. And when I do that, you can see this whole thing pops up, the bottom pops out and everything drops out into the trash can. And you just close that, press the bottom back in and it clicks back into place. And then you're ready to um, go and bust some more dust. Um, so that's the, uh, the operation for uh, emptying it. Again, really super easy to do. So again, that's the Dyson V7 trigger. Um, you know, I'm really happy with this so far. Uh, I think some of my favorite things, it's just, um, you know, enjoyable to use because it's quiet. Uh, it's very powerful suction. You're not having to constantly kind of clean stuff out of the brushes to keep it going. Um, again, that uh, sort of, you know, almost feels like some kind of crazy high-tech, uh, you know, Xbox weapon you've got here. So there's something kind of satisfying about using it. Um, it's nice to see the actual feedback of what you're doing. Um, the uh, emptying is so easy, you can just, you know, uh, use it quickly, dump everything out, and you're good to go, so you don't have gross dust sitting around in your vacuum cleaner for a long time period. Um, I'll look at the filter uh, cleaning, but again, because it's a uh, built-in filter, I think it's probably going to be fairly easy to clean out and you're not having to buy replacements. Um, I like that you don't have to buy bags or anything for it. Uh, the max suction is kind of a nice feature to have on there for harder uh, kinds of things to clean out. Um, and the other thing I'd mention is Dyson has a reputation for excellent service. So you get a warranty on this. You can have it serviced in the United States. So they do uh, apparently stand behind the products really well. Um, would I pay 600 bucks for it? Definitely not. Would I pay $200 for it um, as I did on Amazon for this somewhat older model? Absolutely. Um, and I think it's definitely a great choice if you're looking for the Rolls Royce of vacuum cleaners at a uh, somewhat discounted price. If you found this review helpful in any way, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps.